Okay. Yeah. And you can see yourself. Go. Okay. Thank you, Kermit, for uh, spending a few minutes with us. Oh, it's no problem. How do you uh, like your stay so far? I, it's, it's great. It, it's good to be in a, a town that's your own name. It's easy to remember where you are. You know? How many towns do you have named after you? Oh, I think there are a couple. I, I think there's a Kermit, Texas, and I hear there's one in Virginia. Well, why did you why did you choose Kermit, Texas, and not Kermit, Virginia? Well, I, I think it's obvious. I think everybody here in Kermit knows that Kermit, Texas, is better. It must be. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I don't know. It just it, you know. I, I think it's a, a smaller town, and I really like small towns. Um, I'm from small town myself, and and there's something about the uh, the, the feeling in a small town that I like. Do you write your own material, Kermit? Uh, no. Well, sometimes I do. Sometimes I do, and sometimes I have somebody who writes it for me. Mm -hmm. We have a, a great guy named Jim Lewis who writes a lot of stuff that I say. And, uh, you know. okay. but, but you have to have writers who understand you, you know, who know who, who you are. Right. Otherwise, you, you end up saying things that sound like somebody else. Um, Fifty stops uh, you're going to be making on, on, your, on your tour. That's it's true. It's going to be a grueling uh, thought. You know, it, it could be. It could be grueling. And there's nothing worse than being a frog and being grueled. Um, it, it's disgusting. Grueling is a good word for you. you it is. Well. I like grueling. <laughs> but I don't want to be grueled. <laughs> um, what are some of the, the, the stops you have coming up that you're looking forward to? Well, uh, you know, I'm just getting started. I'm going to have to check my frequent flyer miles and pull the whole trip together. I've got to find a really good travel agent. So I'm not quite sure all the places I'm going. I know, I know my next stop is going to be NASA. Well, while I'm here in Texas, I thought I'd hit uh, NASA, you know, back up in Houston. Right. And um, beyond that, it's hard to say. I, I, I may go to Spain. I talked about maybe running with the bulls. Um, talked about maybe the Great Wall of China. But, but I don't know, you know. Mm -hmm. Some big stops and lots of little places, too. But the whole point of this is for me to have the chance to um, just to thank all the people who've, who've been such faithful fans over the years. Tell me how it, how it feels to, to have a direct um, involvement in a, a day like today that to, to 5,000 people who live here, it's, it's the biggest thing they've ever seen. Well, that's, um, it, it makes you feel very humble. You know, when, when you show up in a small town and, and you're treated so nicely, it's... Um, it doesn't happen every day, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a great group of people, and they're and they're really just sort of the, the salt of the earth. They're they're normal people. They're they're here in Texas, and they go and do their the things they do every day. And, and a guy like me comes in, and they just treat me so nicely, you know. And and I think that that's 